Two days ago, I had my thinning eyebrows enhanced and redefined with microblading and shading. Straight after, I walked into a supermarket and I got ID'd when I tried to buy a bottle of wine with my groceries. I'm 49 and I haven't been ID'd for wine in as long as I can remember. So I took this to be a sign that my new brows had taken years off my face. Either that or the store assistant hadn't put her contact lenses in that morning. But either way, 48 hours in, I can tell you, I think this is the best thing I've done aesthetically. I recorded some footage during the two hour microblading session. So let's take a look at what happens, how it feels, the before and after comparison, and how long the results last. If you're not familiar with microblading, it's a semi-permanent tattooing technique that uses small handheld tools made up of needles. The professional who did my brows, I think mentioned there were something like 16 tiny little needles in the microblading tool that she was using. And they basically make small incisions in the upper layers of your skin to push pigment in. Because it's in the upper layers, it won't be permanent. And that's the difference between microblading and actual tattooing. So in, in actual tattooing, the pigment is pushed deeper into the skin. Microblading should, however, last around 18 months. And it's used to enhance or reshape eyebrows using tiny strokes, which look like your own natural hairs and can be color matched to suit your hair and skin. Now I hummed and hawed about doing this for a couple of years. And by the time I left the brow salon, I just wished I'd done it much earlier. Wrongly, I had assumed it would be painful, that I would have redness and swelling afterwards. And I worried that I would end up with brows that I wouldn't like and that would look really fake. You know, I, was, I had Groucho Marx in mind, but none of that happened because I chose a good practitioner. So here's a little bit of footage that I filmed just before I left the house for my appointment so you can see my original brows or what was left of them. So I just wanted to show you my natural brows uh, before I leave to go and get them filled in. You'll see that they are really quite uh, tiny along the sides here. They've been plucked away over the years and just aging thins them as well. And then, you know, I want to get them filled in a little bit here so that they are uh, longer and they are just a little bit more of a uniform shape. So what I'm going to do is fill them in now with my pencil so she can see the general thickness that I'm going for because I'm, I'm a bit worried that they end up overdone. So I'm hoping that that helps keep us right and uh, I'm also hoping it doesn't hurt. So I went to Gem Precision Beauty in Edinburgh where the owner Gemma is a cosmetic tattooist specializing in brows. It was really important to me to go to someone who does this day in, day out. And after studying her gallery of previous clients, I could see that she was able to produce really natural looking brows using a mix of microblading and also shading. So the microblading uses the tiny blades to create the hair strokes on your brows. And then Gemma uses a tattoo pen to shade them in and give them a bit of depth. And I went for a consultation a few weeks before my appointment and she did a, a patch test on my arm there with the pigment just to check for sensitivity. That was fine. So two days ago, I went in for my actual appointment. Now I was a, a bit nervous because I expected it to hurt like you hear about tattooing. But because this is just such a small area, you can apply numbing cream and I barely felt a thing. So the first thing that happens with microblading is your practitioner will measure up your brows. Gemma used um, something like a chalk thread to mark the center point of my face and the points above the arch and just below the brow to make sure she was getting everything completely symmetrical. And from there, she sketched my new brows in with a pencil so that I could see exactly what she would be aiming for with the blade. And that's just so reassuring that you can see and agree the shape beforehand. You know exactly what's going to happen. And that's when my nerves started to settle. And I just felt really excited because I could see that she had completely understood what I was aiming for. I'd said I wanted it to look natural and just enhanced and a bit fuller and symmetrical. And that's what she did. She was just working with and extending the natural shape of my brows. 
So from there, she applied some numbing cream and I sat for 20 minutes for that to take effect. And then she started on the microblading. And all I was feeling was a little bit of scraping really on the skin, but very little to no discomfort, more of an awareness I would describe it as, as she used the needles to just draw in the hairlines. Obviously you don't wanna make any sudden movements at this point, so your job is just to lie still. And as the ink is pushed into the brows, it will overspill a little. So that kind of builds up around the brow as, um, as your practitioner works, and then they just wipe away that excess ink and start on the next brow. Gemma did an initial run of microblading on my brows, carefully inking in the hairs. And then I had a look, saw it was looking good, and then from there, she started shading in with a tattoo gun. Just very subtle shading in the middle to give a little depth between the hair strokes. With the numbing cream, that part was completely painless. I had very little awareness of what was being done. And about midway through the treatment, um, she applied a numbing serum because you're only really getting about 20 minutes out of these topical numbing agents. So she was topping up as we went along. The last part was a second round of microblading to recover her tracks and build up the pigment. And I would say by the time she reached my second brow, I was just starting to feel a little bit more scratching from the needles as, as the numbing wore off slightly, but I never felt that I was in pain or any significant discomfort. I was relaxed throughout, which I didn't expect uh, from something like this. And once that second round of microblading was done, she just rubbed uh, some more pigment over my brows to leave for a few minutes, just to get as much of it absorbed into those newly bladed strokes as possible. And when she wiped that excess ink off, uh, my brows were done. And what a transformation. Hopefully you can see in the before and after comparison here, just what a difference it makes to my face. You know, I, I was thrilled. And another complete plus was after all that work, I was in for, for just over two hours and 15 minutes. You can see there was no redness around my brows at all. I was literally good to go and no one would know I'd just had it done. And again, that was a total revelation to me. I'd expected much more redness and, and uh, that, that it would be obvious that I'd just had my brows done. So Gemma said uh, the pigment will settle to look even more natural and take on more of a medium to dark brown shade than the very dark brown that it is in the first week or so. Some of the strokes may fade over the next few weeks, particularly because I have oily skin. So the idea with microblading and shading is that you go back six weeks after your first treatment for a touch up just to go over any areas that may have faded. And by doing that and building on the pigment, you should give yourself at least a year to 18 months, sometimes more. Gemma did say that she's had people come back after a year because they love that high impact effect of the freshly done brows, but then she hadn't seen them for two years after that because just in doing that top up early on, you're building the pigmentation for a more lasting result. To not have to fill my brows in every morning is such a win for me. My problem was that I was never getting them equal. So one would look kind of shorter than the other most days, or you know, one was up here, one was down here, and then having oily skin, the pencil would rub off. Sometimes it would be smudge. So it really wasn't working out for me. Thinning brows are a definite sign of aging. And it was just incredible to me to walk out of that salon and into a store and get ID'd for the first time in I don't know how many years. And that didn't feel like a coincidence. I mean, when the store assistant asked me for ID, I was just completely torn between confusion and anger and then pure love for this woman. It was quite a bizarre feeling, but it definitely happened. Having fuller brows and ones that look so natural because the strokes really do look like real hair. It takes years off you because they frame your face and their natural looking fullness is just inherently more youthful. So I think it's a great result for me. With microblading, they are breaking the skin, so there is a chance of infection. And so um, Gemma gave me a silver colloidal serum, uh, which I'm applying a few times a day. But really, um, 
I can't feel anything on my brows. They were maybe a little bit sensitive when I was rubbing the serum in just a few hours after having them done, but otherwise they've been fine. I've just, the only thing I've noticed is uh, just this morning, some dryness just under the brow and just above it. I paid 350 pounds, currently that's around 440 US dollars for the treatment. And as you can tell, I'm pretty happy so far. I will update you um, on my results in my later videos, just to let you know how well it's lasting, particularly because I have oily skin and also I'm using tretinoin, which I'm trying to keep away from the brows, but retinoids will speed up cell turnover, so it could have an impact. So, I hope you found this review helpful. To watch more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe along with the notification bell. Have you tried microblading? What was your experience or would you like to try it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I always love to hear from you and I do try and get back to as many people as I can. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.